Hello and welcome to your lesson on ball flight, on the ball flight laws, the laws of nature, the laws of physics, uh, even the laws of gravity a little bit, but the laws of motion, the laws of the universe all help us understand what is causing a golf ball in flight to curve. So I learned really early on that I can't assume that anyone knows what is making their golf ball do what it's doing. My very first lesson, in fact, was with my brother, Zach, and hopefully he won't mind me sharing this. He came to me and said, Sam, you're a good golfer. Your ball, when you hit it, it curves to the left. It's a nice little draw. My ball slices like crazy. I feel like I'm pretty athletic. What am I doing wrong? And I said, well, obviously your ball's curving to the right. Um, why don't you just, you know, make it hook, make it curve to the left? And he said, I would love to. What do I need to do? My elbow? My stance? Is it my posture? What is it? And I said, no, uh, it's your club face and your path. Is, it's all messed up. And he was like, what? I said, yeah, okay, so let's figure it out. So here's what we did. We said, okay, this ball is curving to the right. We know this ball is curving to the right. How is it curving to the right? Well, it's got to have spin to curve. Just like a baseball has to have spin to curve. You've seen a major league pitcher throw a curved ball. He puts a nasty amount of side spin and probably a little bit of topspin on his ball to make it kind of travel down and curve a little bit. So the same thing is true with a golf ball. We get curved because we have side spin. So we looked at his ball. His ball was starting really straight. It was going like, you know, straight toward the target for like 100 yards and then it started curving to the right and it never came back. So I said, well, okay, if the if the ball's starting straight, then I think your club face is, is pretty square to the target. I think you're doing a pretty good job of getting your club face aimed correctly to the target. But the ball's obviously got some side spin on it. He said, yeah, that makes sense. And I said, okay, well, how would you get side spin on it? And he said, well, I guess, you know, if I like brushed across to the left with my club, I could get it to spin side spin. And I said, okay, that sounds about right. And he said, that's it? And I said, well, I mean, yeah, that's it. Um, so the very next shot, he said, okay, so if it's that simple, if that's all that's making my ball curve to the right that much, you're telling me all I have to do is change uh, what I'm doing with the path of my club. The club face is fine. You just have to, I just have to change the path of my club. And I said, yeah, that's right. That's, that's pretty much it. He said, okay, well then this time I'm going to swing with the path of my club coming from here. And I said, yeah, you should do that. You know, ideally, you swing from there, the face is square to the target, you're gonna put some spin on it, it's gonna go like that. And he said, okay, let's see if this works. Now, Zach uh, is a great athlete. Um, he played college basketball, just a, a really good all-around athlete. He could beat you in just about anything he wanted to if he tried. And the very first time he swung with this new swing path from the inside of the target line, his club brushed across the ball, and sure enough, he produced right to left spin, and his ball curved to the left. Now there's a guy who um, put a name to this uh, effect, if you will. His name is, uh, I'm not sure his first name, but his last name is Magnus. And he told us that a ball in flight will curve if it has spin, only if it has resistance on the side of the ball, one side of the ball. And the only way it can have resistance is if it has some sort of way of creating resistance, like a baseball with its seams and a golf ball with its dimples. So if a ball has no dimples, it's going to be very, very hard for it to curve. And the reason this is, uh, you've probably seen it if you hit a range ball that's been pretty beat up. The dimples actually are the thing that create the resistance and allow the ball to go to the left. So think about it this way. Your ball's traveling straight forward. There's air that it's coming in contact with all of the time. This ball's always going and pushing through this air, which is massive. It may not be very massive. It's not slowing the ball down that much, but it is massive. So as your ball's flying through the air, if it's got spin on it and dimples on the golf ball, the resistance, as the ball spins around in the circle, the resistance will always occur right over here on the right side of the golf ball. Therefore, as long as the ball keeps spinning, and as long as the air is coming from here, it's, the ball is going to be pushed, or it's going to find the path of least resistance, that's what Mr. Magnus said, it's going to go to the left. 
So now it's going in this direction, and the air is coming from here. The ball has this spin on it. The resistance is coming from the right side of the golf ball, which is pushing it to the left. So it just keeps going and going and going. The more spin you put on it, the longer it sustains that curve. So that's how you spin a golf ball. If your path is to the left and your face is straight to the target, you're going to get clockwise spin. It's going to go to the right. If your path is to the right and your face is square to the target, you're going to get counterclockwise and it's going to go to the left. So if you really wanted to hit a great shot, we'd love to eliminate uh, a lot of this curve. We'd like to hit it um, as straight as possible. And we're actually going to talk about that here a little bit later down the road, but we had to first understand what exactly is causing your ball to do what it's doing as of right now. So if you just watch this first chapter on, back, or on spin, why the ball curves, you could literally go to the range tomorrow and if you have a little bit of athletic ability, you can do what Zach did and just change your path from this to this, and you could likely change what the ball does. If it's not doing it for you, exaggerate it. Make the path more from the inside and the face more closed, and you would create the curve that you'd like to create.